Hiya. So, uh, I've got a good story to tell you. When I called Fender years ago, I said, I want Guild Guitars because they had just bought it. And so they said, oh yeah, you're Willie's. Do you want, um, uh, do you want Fender too? And I'm like, no, just Guild. And Fender said to me, we've never had anybody, no dealer, ask for Guild only. So that goes to show what kind of geek I am. This is a guild that I've owned for, this is probably the first vintage guitar I ever owned. I was a young kid and I bought this for 50 bucks. It says Guild X100. What's cool is the label in here is New York. If you're into guilds, this is a New York label. Guild started in 52, but they didn't have a factory. It wasn't until 53 and there's, it says Guild New York 5. So the earliest tags say New York 3, and then they say 5, and then they say 7. That was the zip code. And here's an interesting tidbit. Zip code stands for Zoning Improvement Plan. If you see a zip code on anything, that five-digit thing, that is post-1961, roughly. Okay, so the zip code on this is five. It's one of the earliest labels. I had showed this to Drange, Alfred Drange, before he passed away. So this is a, just a fantastic guild. You can see I've got a couple of classic guild 12 strings behind me here. Uh, I really like guild. I especially like guild electrics. So if you have one, uh, let me know, because I really dig them. And this being 17 inch body, Guild's always had spruce tops, but almost always they were laminated spruce tops. That's a Guild trait and uh, giant arches. And you guys all probably know this, but Guild was born of Epiphone. Epiphone in the early 50s moved from New York to Philadelphia before they were bought by Gibson. All the workers that worked at Epiphone, well not all of them, but they gilded together. And uh, Drange started making guitars. He concentrated mostly on acoustic guitars and archtop guitars. That was their thing. They didn't get to flat top guitars till later, but um, these Epiphones are great. This is a nice piece of history because this is an Epiphone, not a Gibson. It's Epiphone parts with this big thumbprint inlay. And I think I've showed you this before. The remarkable thing is the pickup. <laughs> These are really, a, it's a deep sounding guitar because the chamber inside is fantastic. So um, Epiphone became Guild. Roughly speaking, they gilded together the ex-employees from Epiphone and then Gibson swung in and bought them. But this is what this video is about. This is really cool. It's a 1966 Jetstar. And um, this is really rare. By the way, if there's always books on stuff, and if you're a Guild fan, there's only one book. And this guy is from the Netherlands, I believe, and he wrote this book. They're big fans of Guilds in Europe. They're just high quality guitars. They're real quirky, super hard to look up serial numbers. And I can see you out there. You're nodding your head. You're like, yeah, I, uh, I'm hip, man, because I can't find out when my Guild was was born or dated or whatever. This guitar, the coolest thing about it is that it doesn't need a stand. That it stands up by itself. Now Muddy Waters had one of these and he played one because it was cheap, but they're not bad guitars. This has got a Brazilian rosewood board, this very faux Fender headstock uh, with a curly cue going the other way just so they wouldn't get sued. And yet it was kind of asymmetrical and very space-aged, very Jetsons if you will, 1966, probably designed in 65. And they're like, wow, really? Will people buy this? And no, they didn't. Uh, but it's kind of neat, neck pickup. These pickups are made by Franz, which sounds German, but it's really New York. And Franz made these pickups. Franz made a lot of the early Guild pickups. circuit here. Bright. Or dark, and you can put it there in 
And then once you're in the neck position with your tone control dark, you are officially a jazz musician. No matter what you do, you're a jazz bow. Yeah, baby. So, 1966 Guild. If you're into collecting guitars, this whole doodad here is just mind-blowingly cool. I rarely see them this original. This has the original case. If you're a huge fan, let me know. I might give you a discount on it or trade me some other guild, but this is one that's not in any books. It's really hard to find with this flame maple. It's 100% straight and uh, it's worth looking at. So there's my little guild story and on that night, I'll let you guys go back to what you were doing. Go play some guitar.